Hello everyone, Alex Rules 27 here, back for another Minecraft video. Today we are back on the Mocharf server, starting in front of the rare item shop that I created. Now, <laughs> alright, I I don't remember if I showed off uh, my the rare item shop uh, like this in any of the previous episodes, so I'm just going to do it again. Uh, we have this piston door uh, that's, you know, blue, green. I find that pretty good. The only thing I don't like about it is you can see the pistons, because, you know, it's glass. The other thing I like about it is you can see the pistons, because I'm uh, good at redstone. It's just it's just like a simple, like, um, just thing, and ooh, you should not be there. Here, one shot kills. Is there any more? <sighs> Crap. No, there isn't. And while I'm down here, might as well... Alright, yeah, I know. <laughs> I have not been on the Mochar server since the last episode very much. Uh... You yeah, know, it's just a simple thing. Uh, I place slime around where, you know, slime's supposed to be and place the cactus all, uh, cactus in, like, a little pot all around. Uh, basement is working properly. We still got this. Uh, everything is still free. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, reason why we start in front of it today is because I did a little bit of research and apparently torches in your slime farm do actually affect the rate of slime uh, spawning. So we're going to fix that. I'm just going to change it all to glowstone like the other one. We should be good to go. Uh, don't worry, we're not doing that. The whole episode should not take all the episode. So when we're done that, which should take about, I don't know, five minutes, then the rest of the episode will be strictly on base work. Find a tree, but no, go away. It's strictly going to be on base work. Uh, as in, we're going to work on the base a bit more. We're going to fill out, uh, fill in some more water and hopefully finish... Not, like, finish, finish, but completely finish one bowl. Uh, let's go. Wow, I did not realize this, but we are low on glowstone. So, we're gonna have to take a trip into the nether. It, 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 finding glowstone isn't hard, it's just time-consuming. Obviously, you just have the, uh, threat of falling in lava. I'm gonna take this off, because I don't need it. My respiration one. Yep. Where's my... Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, we might have to do take a trip into the nether. Uh, no, nothing too hard. Not, nothing at all. We're just getting a bit of glowstone. Um, so... Yeah, so... Also, uh, one thing I learned is that... You can just hold down W on that bit. It really doesn't matter. Alright, so... What I'm planning on doing for the base is obviously... Uh, clearing out all the water in the first one. The uh, first... Recipe booking. No, I don't care. Shut up. Uh, what, where was it? Um, dome. The first dome. Hopefully, we can clear all the water, add some stuff, and plan on what I want to do with that dome, and also maybe even the second one. Who knows? Uh, now I blocked off the uh, entrance to the slime farm, not the uh, shop, the farm. So I might need to make a new one. But for now, all I gotta really do is just break these two blocks right here. Uh. I craft wooden planks, the recipe book, and help. I, that's a new feature in the snapshot, but unfortunately, it's not going away. It's being an annoying. So, whatever. Uh, this should be all set. Uh, th this is full of torches, so this one we have to do. And we don't have to do, like, every single layer. That would be a waste of glowstone because, you know, you got glowstone on the top as well. So, yeah... Whatever, uh, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna try to use up all my glowstone, and we'll see how far I get. So I actually got through a few layers, I, uh, one, two, three, so yeah, I'm like four layers, actually, you know what? You yeah, know, I think just four layers, I might, uh, let me get rid of these torches, see what they are, and let me get rid of that. Um, if you're wondering, uh, I probably should have said this in the video while we are making the slime farm, why I left all the ores in the wall instead of getting them, especially the iron, because it's more important than anything else. I don't have a great explanation, because to be honest with you, I really don't know why. But I think it's because when I was mining it out with Nick, oh, by, by the way, in case you don't know, Nick helped me a lot. When I was mining out, I was just watching YouTube videos, and I was just like, alright, dig, 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 mine, place, block, mine, death. And I really didn't even give it much any thought. And it wasn't until I started 
building this and I'm like yeah maybe I should have got that so maybe in the future I will get it but for now they remain a just in the wall maybe maybe I could use the excuse it as decoration but to be honest with you other than me who really is gonna come in here very often now this yeah no I need some more glowstone all right all right so I everything is now uh, glowstone and even the walls and everything so one thing that I just noticed was with items like if let's say a slime dies I don't know if it does the slime will will not get there because these pressure plants the re uh, counts as a full block like you know every other block so it's like a big air space so the items don't go to the hopper so one thing I might do is have a like the hoppers going into these hoppers but there's also another issue if I do that some of the spaces with pressure plates on them beneath them is bedrock so this build may be a bit inefficient but we're gonna have to go with it it's it hasn't even been a full episode and I'm already down all right well you know what we're we're, we're done here Let, let's go to the base okay so we're here at my base in case you can't notice and this this chest is the materials that I use for my base. What we are going to do is we're going to finish the second half of this here fierce, fierce, hierical water thingy. In case you don't want me to get too technical. And, alright. So, this, what you have seen, this is half of it pretty much done. This is the other half, all right? In case you don't know math very well. I'm not so sure if I need, yeah, no, I need some sand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use sponge to get rid of the sand. Well, this is what I did for this side as well. I'm gonna just make these little, you know, squares and sponge my way down, get rid of the sand piles and just continue with the rest of the squares. I am going to need my shovel and I am going to do a time lapse of it. So without further ado, let's go. This video was recorded over the course of a few days. So the first half of the video that you just watched was using my old microphone and this part and the remainder of the video is with my new microphone, my blue snowball. Uh, I pretty much. So for this time lapse, I'm doing another voiceover with my new microphone because why the heck not and it has a pop filter and everything if you have not seen the video you should because it's not really great but anyway what I want to talk about in this voiceover is my base that I'm currently working on uh, after this time lapse I will have finished clearing out all the water it's just for spoilers the second sphere I actually I, I mentioned in the beginning of the, of the episode and I mentioned after the time lapse, how do I know this? I recorded the uh, after the time lapse as well. I'm doing this voiceover and editing because that's how I usually do. It. Anyway, the second sphere, I'm not planning on doing the next episode. The next episode, I'm doing more on this sphere. The episode after that, I'm planning on working on the maze that Jordan and I started a couple episodes ago. I think episode five, like last month, uh, just for that and. The second sphere, I think that's going to be the next one. I'm not sure. I plan all these crazy things, and I always change them because of certain things. The second sphere is not finished, obviously. How I finished this first sphere is what I did was I completed the actual glass and then started cleaning out all the water. Oh, I have a problem with the second sphere. I did not complete the glass, and I don't know if I can. I was working on one layer of the glass and it seemed to be off from the one above so I'm like okay maybe I did this wrong I did it three other times and it's still the same one 
So I checked the top one to see if it was right, and it was right, and I checked a lot of layers above, and it still was right. So there might be imperfections in the sphere, just for a warning, and this one is supposed to be a complete half sphere, which is really annoying. Why am I doing that? Uh, probably because I'm tired, but I, I really don't know why. I'm just I'm going to have to uh, look at that. So yeah, that's the problem I have. We're most likely going to be working that later. And also, I do have dirt, as you can see. If you look, I do have dirt at it. That was my old attempt. I am going to be using the old sand method. But, you know, I'm sure you're tired of my voice, so let's get on with the rest of the video. And there we go. It is all done. It looks beautiful. It's big. And there's so much space. Now, following with all that space... It looks a bit lonely. I mean, yeah, no, it's completely new and there's nothing in here. But when I add all the things that I want to add in here, it, what am I going to do up here? I mean, it just looks lonely. It's sad. It has feelings, too. So what I'm thinking of doing is adding another floor. And I'm still kind of thinking about how I should go about that. So I'm not going to tell you anything yet. But what basically I have planned is stone brick no I'm not stone brick stone slabs going all around the sphere I love how I said that I was gonna tell you anything cuz I'm not sure I'm telling you anyway but it's not gonna be like completely around there's gonna be like a four or five block gap around so you can see down underneath I don't know that's what I'm thinking and one thing that I'm definitely know I'm gonna do is add in slabs all around the sphere because every time I fall in the ocean, I have to break the cobblestone to get back in. If I add slabs, then I'll be able to get in easily. So that's still something I'm thinking about. And I was thinking of ending the episode here. But looking back at the footage, all I really did was go around the spawn town, explain a few stuff, come back here and clear out the water. That's all I really did. So... Oh crap, don't fall down there. That's I I don't know what else to do. I mean what what I do definitely want to do in the next episode when we have the floor completed. I I'm lonely. I mean, it's in the middle of the ocean, sort of. And I have nothing but the squids to talk to. So I was thinking of on the second floor building in the center a tank with a squid in it. And that could be my friend. Now, I know squids suck, especially if you come from Scott's Minecraft, but who else am I going to talk to? Kevin? I mean, seriously, come on. That's like the worst idea ever. We have plenty of squids. If that squid dies, we can get a new one easily. And yeah, that, that, that's pretty much what I'm thinking of. Uh, a part in the next episode, oh, it's in my inventory, I did smell all the stone necessary to create all the stone slabs. You know what? No, we have time. I'm going to... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to create the stone slabs. I'm not going to create all of it into stone slabs just in case. Like, probably that. Yeah, we can make an entire stack. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's a lot of slabs. And let's just go around the, uh, the, um, the circle. The circumference. That's what I was trying to say. And I don't know if I said this in the beginning of this or not. But we're not touching that second sphere because that's a complete mess. So I guess we can do that next episode now. This is where the question lies. Do I want to have the slab there and go up? Or have the slab touching the glass like that? But if we do that, then there's this annoying bit of air here. But, you know, the air can help us from drowning if we have to. Ooh, plus you can see that annoyingness under there. I don't know. Oh, God. Ooh, wrong button. Originally, I wanted to have it there, but if we have it on the glass, then it kind of looks a bit better-ish. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know at all. Cause I'm a picky guy. You know what? Let's do it on this layer first, and let, let, let's see how it. Oh God, frame rate. Let's do it on the first layer first, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, you know what? I kind of want it on the bottom layer, cause 
Yeah, no, we're we're gonna do it on the bottom layer because it just looks better that way. So let's do that real quick. Um, there's nothing really much I can say about it other than let's build a giant ring around the smaller ring. Oh crap! And also, also trying to jump up is kind of difficult because sometimes you don't get it. it. You'll you'll see you you'll know what I mean if you actually try it. But it's it's when you jump up when you try to jump up sometimes you well. Sometimes it just doesn't work. You don't hop up, so you have to go completely under and just hop up, and that's kind of annoying. So if we have it on the bottom, bottomist layer, then it should work better. So if I, what, ugh, God's sakes, placing slab sucks. So what it, what I mean is we place it here. Yeah, it has this annoying air pocket, but if we need to, we can breathe under it. And you can't see it all that well underneath. And plus, you just jump up and do that. Also, adds a bit more depth to the actual project. So, I'll build more of it, and we'll continue to see how good or bad it looks. You know what? That's a bit better. I'm not going to say it's completely better. I mean, I... Maybe I could... You know what? No, that won't work either. And we have crap frame rate as well. You're gonna have to deal with that. I'm running low on memory. I don't. I don't know. We're gonna go with this. Maybe I have plenty of slabs to spare. Maybe on edges like this, I have that. I don't know. I'm gonna have to experiment later. But it's probably what we're gonna have to deal with with my memory problem. So anyway, guys, that's the end of this video here. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode. I said that completely wrong. Before I do go, I just want to say, what the heck? I just want to say one thing. I know I have not been uploading Mocharv recently. In fact, every new series that I recently started, I have not been uploading much on. And I can't really answer that in a large way of... Here, yeah, I'm just going to go to sleep. I can't really answer that in a way sounding smart. So I'm just going to put it simply. I'm, a bit, I'm, a, I'm getting a bit lazy. I will admit that. But I am. I will try my hardest to get back to Mocharv because I think Mocharv is going to be the new main series on this channel. Mostly because it is involved with a lot of things. But uh, with my company of frame rate lacking, hopefully you enjoyed this ep uh, video, and I'll see you. No, I said that wrong again. What the frick? Oh, oh my God! Hold on. Let me take a deep breath. Ah, uh, forget it. Just end this up. Just end the video.